Hey there! Today I thought I would not really do a review, but I would talk about something else because I get so many questions about this that I think I finally have found a way to answer them. The questions are, how exactly does a one-way shut-off valve filling system work? Well, the problem is, I have a couple of pens that have that filling system. It's quite common on Japanese pens, some of those really large Japanese pens, uh, often ebonite, covered with Urushi lacquer. But the problem is that it's very hard to show you how that system works on those pens because the pens are opaque, that it's very hard to, to look inside them. And then I saw that Opus 88 came out with a new finish of the Omar, and I have already reviewed the Omar, so I don't really want to review this particular finish. It's, it's just a different finish of a pen I have already reviewed. But when I saw it, I contacted Yoast from Applebaum and I said, okay, okay, let's end this once and for all. I need to know, I need to show people how uh, this system works. Send me one. And he said, hashtag boom. So that happened. And uh, thanks to my friend Mike for the shirt, by the way. Here we go. A one-way shut-off valve. What does it do? What does it not do? What can I expect? What can I not expect? And I think this actually is sensible to, to actually address, especially now that we have at least a company who is making this filling system more affordable. More and more people contact me and say, I don't know how it works. If my pen runs dry. What do I do? So, I'll go over that system. First thing I want to show you is, has nothing to do with the system, but I found a little hack on this pen that I thought some people may enjoy. This finial unscrews. Uh, and that means that you can actually take it off, take the clip that comes off, screw this back into place. And I'm actually going to use this so that when I show you this, the clip is not in the way. And the nice thing is, there's no cutout on the cap and the finial fits flush on the cap. So if you would like to have a clipless pen, you can create it. Now into this filling system, because that's really what I, what I wanted to get into today. I'm already putting out my ink and an eyedropper. Of course, it's asking for trouble to do this live, but you know how these videos are. This is what you see is what you get. So we have a pen. In a nutshell, a fountain pen that uses the one-way shut-off valve filling system is just an eyedropper. However, there is an additional component inside the barrel of the pen. So whereas an eyedropper works by you just unscrewing the section, put away the section, put a little bit of silicon grease here if you want, silicon grease, a little bit of silicon grease, that was a little bit of Hamish coming out, and now you have the barrel. And traditionally, an eyedropper pen barrel would look something like this. It is completely empty on the inside. But you see that there is a moving part here, okay? How do you access that moving part? Moving part. It's very simple. You unscrew this end cap. It doesn't come out, it doesn't come off. But once that's unscrewed, you can move this piston. Okay? Now, the first time I ever used a pen like this, I thought it was a piston. So, sorry, I have to screw this back on. I operated the pen as a piston. Put this in a bottle of ink, drew this up, nothing happens. This is not like a piston. That one-way shutter valve has a piston rod, but it's not. it doesn't have a seal that is flush against the inside of the pen barrel. And as a result, when you pull this out, it won't create a vacuum and ink is not drawn up. So, the way these pens work is, you don't have to do this to fill up the pen. In fact, I would not recommend that. You can just leave that in this model. There's again, you, I'll show you, there's no clear closure created by the seal. You see, there's a clear opening, a little space between the inside of the barrel and the seal of the one-way shutter valve. So then your question is, but what does it seal off? Well, it seals off this part of the section. You see, there's a little opening there. Typically, a slightly conical opening I found. And that means that in this section, you see that right next to my finger is a little clear bit with the black nipple sticking out there. That is, of course, the back end of the nib collar, which often would have a cartridge or a converter connect to it. But in this filling system, there are no cartridges or converters. So what happens is you have 
what I call the secondary ink chamber in here. And you have the primary ink chamber, which is the entire barrel, or part of the barrel, depending on how the pen is made. Typically, in my mind, the entire barrel. Now, the fun thing about this system is, once you have ink in here, once this barrel gets screwed onto the section, you can see that the seal at the front there, right, it's right there, right now is in its closed position. I know that because the turning knob is turned all the way in, like it's screwed all the way in, right? Now it's open. Now it's closed. It will shut off the ink flow from the primary ink chamber into the secondary ink chamber, right? Because that seal is blocking the inside of the section. Why would you do that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, now there can't really be any leakage. In other words, imagine I have to fly, there are pressure changes in the cabin, ink could be pushed out of the section. If I drain the ink from the secondary ink chamber by tapping it like this back into the primary ink chamber, you don't have to pull this uh, seal out that far, by the way, something like this would, would more than do. Ink is in there, I screw that shut, and in principle, no ink will leak. Now, having said that, typically there's some ink caught in the fins or the comb, whatever you like to call it, of the feed. So you may still get a little bit of leakage, but there is that. Second thing is, you can manipulate wetness of the pen. Now, I really want to point out, people often tell me, well, you should show that in the, in the videos, the, the, the wetness. Yeah, don't expect a night and day difference. Right? If, if the seal is closed, at some point this pen will stop writing because the ink flow is blocked. The, the secondary chamber will be completely empty, you've used up all the ink in there, and there simply is no more ink, so the pen will stop writing and it will get dry and dry and at some point it stops. If you open up this seal as you write, which is something that some people do, especially for longer writing sessions, the pen will flow. Right? It will continue to flow because ink keeps flowing from the primary to the secondary ink chamber. Now. <clears throat> Having said that, yeah, if you open it up, the pen may get a little wetter than if you don't. But don't expect a night and day difference, because it's really not. It's really not, and I don't even think a camera would really necessarily pick it up. So there is that. Final uh, advantage that I wanted to mention is some eyedroppers burp. So once the pen gets a little emptier, you get an air bubble, right? Because there's no ink, so there must be air. Heat from your hand can transfer through the barrel through the material and make that air bubble, the heat may make that air bubble expand and then ink gets pushed out through uh, the nib and the, the feed which can leak, it can blot on, onto your paper. That's a bit of an issue and to be fair I've had this with this system. I think the only time you can really stop that is if you always make sure that that seal is closed. If it's open why would you not get any ink burping, right? Because you still have an, an air bubble and you have continuous access from this ink to the secondary chamber. It can continuously flow there. So it wouldn't necessarily make much of a difference, right? But if you do keep that seal closed up, then indeed, even when the pen is almost empty, I haven't really found it to burp as long as that seal is closed. Okay, now just to show you, I picked a transparent ink. Again, asking for trouble to do this live, but I have a nice dye mine bottle. This is sunshine yellow. I'm not going to write with it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, filling it up, easy. Right. And what I'm just doing here is I just take my eyedropper and I put it slightly to the side of that seal. I don't open up the seal. The reason I don't is that if you pull the seal out, right, you screw the section on, you push the seal back, <laughs> you are pushing a little bit of air up and sometimes you do get a little bit of ink just uh, I wouldn't say squirting out necessarily but it, it, it may come out okay I can just put in a little bit more there we go I wouldn't push it more than this just getting rid of my eyedropper now the section how do you make this flow this is not a piston filler this is not a cartridge converter filler that you dip into the ink and then draw up ink so what do I do? Well, this is a trick I learned from Kevin from Fountain Pen Revolution. I have to be very careful, that's a lot of ink in the barrel, I don't want that to spill. I screw this in until I'm almost there, okay? Now what you can see is the secondary ink chamber is, obviously it's empty, right? There's no ink in there, the pen isn't even closed fully yet, so it's empty. Now what I do is, I turn over the pen. 
and you have to do that carefully and you do it over a bottle of ink and I'm just going to put down a napkin because this will get a little messy and I want to do this in plain view now what you can see is look at that ink chamber you see that a little bit of ink is already trying to get in there okay God help us all now what we do here as I turn this I'm forcing ink down the section and in this case now that that is somewhat securely in place I'm going to open up my seal and I'll keep turning I go back a little bit go in there, there we go now I'm squeezing ink into that section and there we go Okay. now I can't guarantee you this is going to write straight away just push in a little bit more just because the feed is not saturated no, no it wrote I'll show you because now those people who won't believe me Paper, pen, writes, okay, straight away. So that was actually really sweet. That trick worked really well. It usually does, but you'll always see that when you do it on camera for the first time, all of a sudden it doesn't. That's, that's how I roll. And now I have my pen going, and we're ready, set, go, right? This is it. I write, I have ink in my secondary ink chamber, so I'm good to go. Again, I wanted to use a transparent ink so you could really see what's going on. And once this starts to run out, it doesn't work so well anymore, the pen starts to run dry. Very simply, <laughs> for the record, if you're going to unscrew this bit, don't hold the section, right? Because in theory, you could unscrew the entire section doing this. Uh, sorry, the entire barrel doing this, and then ink, of course, is going to rush out, and you're going to have a lot of ink on your desk. So, hold the barrel, unscrew it just a tiny bit. Sometimes you lightly tap it, but in this case, there already is ink in the chamber. Now, can I really drain it? I'll try to open that up. Yeah, it makes a noise, sorry. I just felt ink land on my face. I felt it. Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you tap. I have some interesting things to explain later again why there are yellow dots on my face. Anyway, in theory, now this feed is a bit saturated because of the way I just inked it. In principle, you can drain that second ink chamber um, because I don't want to splatter more ink. Is it on the camera too? I think I actually managed to not get it there. You can drain this and carefully close this back up and you're ready to fly, for example. So in my mind, <clears throat> I know this was a very theoretical video. I know that some people already switched off after the first 30 seconds. That's perfectly fine. Those of you who want to use this system now have, I think, <clears throat> all the knowledge you need to use it. I think it's a fantastic system. Large ink capacity and relatively low burping issues as long as you keep that seal closed. You can regulate the wetness of your pen a little bit if you really want that. Although again, don't expect too much. And that's pretty much it. So I hope this was useful. I hope I haven't bored you to death. I just want to share some, some tips and tricks today. And uh, that's all there's to it. I'll glad to see you later. Bye bye.